så god. Det är det stora här. In the last video, we talked about the shift from road to rail, the pioneering work, the real pioneering work. Uh, now we will talk about the containerization. The container is today the backbone of, of our group, basically. Container actually is a, surprisingly probably for many of you, is a relatively new innovation in transport. Uh, it started in the US in the 1950s. It was actually Malcolm McLean. He started, like my father, as a truck driver and grew his business, the trucking business. And he was always angry when he went to ports and it took him very long time to unload the truck or load the truck because each pallet had to be put from the ship in, onto the truck or vice versa. This took a long time, so he had the simple idea of putting the pallets right at the plant into a container and you could go to the port and just put in the container from the truck into the ship. But uh, nobody believed in his idea, so he, after growing his trucking company, he sold the company, he bought the shipping line and he built the first container ship. And this was only in 1957 when he started the first uh, container ship service between US ports. And then only later, in 1966, the first container ship called a European port, that was Bremerhaven. And that was actually what uh, my father and my uncle noticed at this time. The company was still small, about 50 employees at this time. But they noticed that and they said, we should do the same with European chemical logistics. Move the products just in containers and not put full trailers with a lot of dead weight on the railway. We should just put containers. And they initiated a project to build the first uh, tank container. Of course, there were no possibilities to transship such containers here in Switzerland, so they had also to build a rail terminal. And this first rail terminal was uh, built in Wohlen near, uh, near Lenzburg, uh, here in our region, basically. And from there, they started then in 1972, the first train between Köln and Wohlen with tank containers on it. Soon the volumes grew, the dry bulk was added with dry bulk containers for the growing plastic flows to Switzerland to move them also to rail. And then in the next step, even uh, packed products uh, were containerized and the full train was achieved. And with this uh, successful development, the terminal in Wohlen got soon too small and my father found a new location in Bier. And at this location, he was able to build a new rail terminal, much bigger rail terminal, which was opened then in 1979. Still till now, this train is running. So in 2022, it will be 50 years since this train is running like a clockwork uh, across Europe. It's for sure by far the oldest uh, and longest running intermodal train in Europe, still running today, every day. From this point of development, then we moved actually into uh, two directions. Looking back at the last 50 years, one direction is uh, geographical expansion of our offering, and the other direction is to go more deep into value added services for our customers in the containerized supply chain. So, but the container is the cornerstone, more or less, of both. Uh, both uh, developments over the last uh, 50 years, basically. If you like this sequence, please give me a like. Make sure to subscribe to Berchi Group. And